Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series we're taking a look at HTC's HD7 phone running Windows Phone 7, and this time around we're going to talk about using Marketplace to download apps onto your phone. Now, like other smartphones, phones running Windows Phone 7 allow you to download apps to do a number of different things, and you get them from the Marketplace on this phone. To get to the Marketplace, you'll click the Windows Start button at the bottom of the phone, and then scroll down until you get to Marketplace. You can tap on it to open it up. From here we have the choice of HTC-specific apps, regular apps, games, and music. We're going to choose regular apps. You'll see a few different screens here, and you can swipe your finger sideways on that screen to get to different screens. You can swipe sideways to bring up a category list, swipe again to get to a list of the top downloads, swipe again to get to new downloads, and once more to get to featured downloads. We're going to go to the category view here. Now when you get to category view, you'll see a bunch of different types of categories of apps that you can download on the phone, like games, productivity apps, social apps, that sort of thing. At the top of our list, we have something called HTC apps, which are very specific to the phone we have here. You can use your finger to scroll down the list to see other types of categories that don't appear at the top of the list. When you see a category you like, you can tap on it to open it. We're going to tap on social. Now at the top of the list, you'll see different categories. You'll see top, new, and free. Again, you can swipe side to side to get to the type of content that you want. We're going to scroll over to free to get to free applications like Facebook and Twitter. Again, you can use your finger to scroll up and down through the list, and when you get to an application that you want to find out more about, you can tap on it. You get a screen with more information about the app, or the pricing of the app. In this case, it's free, but in other cases, you might have a price here. At the very bottom, you have the option to share or install. If you type on share, it'll allow you to share the information about this using Messenger or Hotmail. If you want to just install the app, you can tap on install. Now, if it's a location-aware app that uses your GPS inside the phone for specific parts of the application, it will ask you at this point if you want to allow access to your location. And we're going to say yes, because we do. Then it'll ask you to confirm your purchase on the next screen. Tap install, and it'll start to install your application. You'll see a progress bar listing how far along your download is or whether it's pending. Then once your app is downloaded, you can get to it by hitting the Windows Start button at the bottom of the screen, clicking on the right arrow at the top of the screen, and then scrolling down the list until you get to it. Now if it's an app you're going to be using a lot, you can choose to put it onto your home screen by pressing and holding on the app from this list of applications, and then choosing the option to pin it to your home screen. That way, every time you fire up the home screen, it'll appear on the list. Let's look at the marketplace on the HT7 running Windows Phone 7. Don't forget to check out other parts in the series. We'll show you other ways to interact with the phone. And you can check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.